they're they are securing their caste, their touchable future, okay? And they are more afraid of the change in status in society than anything else. And um, several things that uh, were referred previously in the, the novel, okay, uh, is, uh, is shown in this um, particular chapter because remember Urumban was someone who was referred to in the earlier chapters then the children's toys the watch remember i told you when we described the resort that is built there there is a children's watch that is hiding there so that watch is also something that was left behind a rubber goose okay all these toys parts of dog toys that uh, the children had left there is was described in the earlier chapters and the lucky leaf shape throughout the novel you know velita because he is a paravan he does not wear upper body cloth angnidarilla shirt darilla appo angane ullondu ivinte back il oru paadu undu that looks like a leaf and he calls it his lucky leaf all right so even though velita is almost barely alive the lucky leaf on his back is still seen and that is what rahel sees all the pieces of the terror are now complete now we have a complete image of what happened okay it was it was from the first chapter onwards sophie mall marichu ennu parna pa thodangiya puzzle aanu now it is that we got all the pieces all right we will bring up all the pieces in the next um, video but i hope that you will do it before me you try and bring a chronological order of the things that happened till velita's capture all right so uh, that is something that you will need to do the next chapter chapter 19 is um, called saving ammu okay so when the police go back to the police station they take um, velita with him and Th inspector thomas matthew he deals with the children and the officers tell him about the provisions or the supplies that they found in history house and he is not happy he realizes that baby kochamma lied to him that velta did not kidnap the children all right so he has no responsibility in the disappearance of the children he uh, he he is not responsible even for amu's rape is something that he realizes that baby kochamma has lied and uh, you know he threatens her and says that you know in nona varnena i will uh, i will uh, i will charge against you but um, she accuses uh, them of murdering uh, sophie mall because of je jealousy okay so what happens is that the children know the truth all right and what happens is that baby kochamma in order to keep her face she threatens the children by saying that you are the ones who have murdered sophie mall you were always jealous of her that's why you have murdered okay and she says that because you have murdered you and your mother will go to jail so because of that all right however um police mistake that velita is guilty of the crime okay and someone has to provide evidence for this someone has to say something against it okay so baby kochamma tells the children that if you if you um, listen if you listen and if you go along with the story that i have told the policeman you will be able to save yourselves and ammu all right and baby kochamma says that anyway valita is going to die so you cannot save him so it is better to save yourselves and ammu so um, inspector takes esta to where valita has been tied up and he asks um, esta one question that is this the man who um, kidnapped you or who took you away and esta identifies valita all right as the guilty one and that is something that probably disturbed him so much that now he has become this mute person because Yes, Velita was someone that he loved dearly, and he has to wrongly accuse him of a crime that he did not do. All right, and that is probably the reason for the silence in Esta. Velita dies that night in police custody. When Amu hears from the children the next morning what had happened, uh, how Baby Kochamma had, you know, threatened them, she goes to the police station to make things right. But it is too late. She realizes that, uh, you know. Velita has already died and she is shocked uh, <clears throat> uh, about uh, what has happened now baby kochamma is again shocked that you know how can how could ammu sleep with this paravan doesn't he have a smell and uh, she she keeps disturbing chako who is completely destroyed after losing his daughter that he she influences him so that he throws his sister out okay he, he she influences him to send ammu away and she also plots to remove esta from that house and to send him back 
uh, to his father all right so that only rahel is left for the family to take care of she does not want to take care of all of them she wants to break them up remember baby kochamma is someone who finds joy in other people's suffering and in this chapter baby kochamma can be seen as the most despicable character because it is her cruelty to the children in the hard times that they are going through that is most evident and it is because of her that ammu velta and esta are you know Uh, separated from each other and imagine for small children she they are told that you know you, this is your only way to save ammu she has completely destroyed their mental stability okay and um <clears throat> uh all right yes and towards the end okay we see that um ammu is banished esta is removed velta is death and that is what has happened the end of living has happened all right that means everything that they care, cared for has completely come dismantled towards the end of this chapter chapter 20 the madras mail esta is being returned to his father after whatever all the things that have happened in aimanam house and um, esta is sitting in the train rahel and ammu are standing outside in the station to see him off and ammu is giving him detailed instructions about his suitcase his things and what he should do what he shouldn't do and about the lunch that has been packed for him there is a lady sitting beside him who's offering him sweets but esta declines it okay and ammu promises him that she will come for him soon and she will start a school in which the children will be able to study okay and um uh, esta in his mind he knows that that will never happen he says that you know that will never happen the last conversation that they have is about the school it is a dream that they share okay but that as we know that dream never comes to reality as the train pulls away uh, esta says that he is feeling vomity and we are immediately taken back to that experience that he had with orange drink lemon drink man and you know we can now we can now actually understand the uh, what the mental um, how esta lost his mental stability and how he retreated into himself how he removed himself from the world all of these were events were responsible for that all right and as M esta wants to vomit rahel keeps screaming and screaming as her twin is being taken away from her the next section of the chapter um, is where you know we are brought back to the present and rahel is sitting in esta's room on his bed all right and she pulls him down he also comes and sits on the bed and she pulls him down and they both lie side by side and again the laws of love okay the love laws that are always described throughout this chapter the love laws that velta and ammu broke the love laws that velta and rahel and esta broke okay that same love love is being broken once again when uh, rahel and esta they have sex with each other okay they become intimate and although they are twins they are brother and sister they are breaking the big most sacred law that is okay and why that is is because you know probably they they never saw themselves as being separate and now that they have been separated for so long the only way for them to be one again is to be you know one in body the union of the body and um <clears throat> even though no one even the readers probably will not understand why this happens all right this is the only way in which the children can share their grief all right and this love scene is an attempt um, to restore the intimacy that they have lost through being separated for so long the last chapter chapter 21 is called the cost of living okay and this chapter does not have esta does not have rahel in this chapter it describes the first time ammu and velta meet and they make love for the first time okay remember this was the day the day of the arrival of sophie paul the day when you know suddenly they became aware of each other's body when uh, ammu was watching velta play with rahel okay somehow they knew that they would meet at the river rendu verum correct samayath the river le thumbum they see each other all right and they start uh, you know they they start making love and after years so many years ammu finally feels alive is how this love scene is described velka on the other hand is very very afraid he feels the terror because that caste hierarchy is in his mind of he's afraid of what he has done but ammu calms him with with her hugs 
all right and amu and velita they continue to meet like this for 13 more days during the time when um, sophie mor was in imanam house all right and that is 13 nights before that terror occurs at the history house okay and what is this terror the terror is not only the death of sophie mor it is also what happened to velita all right and um, on the last night that they make love before everyone finds out okay they make the same promise to each other every night while they leave and this promise is of tomorrow all right now this tomorrow is a ambiguous word this tomorrow obviously means that they will meet the next day but maybe it also indicates a tomorrow where you know they would not be bound by all these laws that govern who should be loved and how much all right the sweetness of this chapter it shows us that no matter what all we discuss throughout this chapter this is basically a love story a story about a forbidden love all right and the terrible sadness that follows followed it and the terrible effects that it had on everyone involved all right it was just forbidden that you know this love was forbidden in the world that ammu and velita lived in but maybe there is a world beyond all of this the world where the god of small things lives all right and there this kind of a love will not be forbidden and with that we come to the end of summaries of the chapters i hope that you enjoyed this novel thank you